Hello and welcome to Infinity. The Orton effect was created in the 1980s by Michael Orton in the days of dark rooms and stuff. And it was quite a clever effect, a way of getting like sort of a dreamy, sort of blurred effect, but not blurred. So it likes, you know, a bit of a glow. And uh, it's very easy to do, however, in something like Affinity Photo. So we're going to start off. We're going to go to put in a Gaussian blur. Note I forgot this appearing above here rather than as a child layer. Turn up the radius. So we're knocking out most of the detail, so somewhere in the middle there. And check Preserve Alpha to stop that edge effect. Change the blend mode. Then to Screen. And that's going to make it lighter. So what we can do then is to compensate for that, hit Control J. And just change the blend mode to multiply and so we've got to lighten and darken but the problem now is that this is now sort of a bit too strong effect so let's go back to the original one here and we'll put in an HSL layer in between here and I'm going to change the blend mode of this to lighten and then if I drag this down here it I can find the sweet spot in here where the colours are about right. So I can shift click to select all of them, turn it off, turn it on again. Yeah, that's about right. However, this is now kind of ready, but it may be a bit too blurred for you. So I just hit Control G to group it. So I've got all those now in one group, which I can call what an effect. And I can then play with the opacity now find this the right level for it and that's about okay and because i've got now in a single sort of standalone layer like that i can hit ctrl c on this go to another one hit ctrl v to paste it and i've got the effect immediately there we go that's it quick and easy thank you very much for watching